Good morning. Hi. How are you? Polite chats at the front you desk. You staying for lunch today? Are often as deep as the yeah. conversation goes. Already, let's see. As Jenna Lingle volunteers yeah, here at the Ballard the Senior Center. Left, side, left knee up. All the people coming in, they love to see a young, smiling face like that. But beyond the exchanges, Thank you. <laughs> Jenna feels like there's a deeper purpose for her here. My relationship with God is um, like, it's his love. I've been jaded by church. Okay. Well. Connecting to yeah. the community. I get that. It's what Jenna and the so, congregation at Vona Church to this part. have set out to do beyond Sunday service. April 19th, in fact, we'll celebrate one year, so. A young congregation that turns the Seattle Creative Arts Center in Ballard into a place of worship each week. It's really this kind of coffee house relational approach to ministry. In John chapter 8, verse 31. Over coffee and donuts. Says, so Jesus said to the Jews. They hear from their pastor, Will Mayfield. We are made free so that we can serve Christ by serving others. He grew up in this community and believes he's building Vona Church on what makes Ballard unique. Look at verse 34. It's not up to us to... Uh, you know, go knock on people's door or go, you know, chase people down and try to share uh, scripture with them or a gospel presentation. Instead, he's encouraged the church to focus on serving the neighborhood first, like planting these flowers in a nearby garden. If that resonates with them, if they want to know, well, why are you doing that? Uh, then we have the opportunity to discuss, but it's going to be initiated by them, not by us. Our life in service to God is lived out in service to others. He understands Seattle might seem different to more traditional church growers. And the challenge for me has been explaining to somebody in Texas or in Florida or in Georgia um, what we do, how we do ministry, because it is so Hello. different. Hi, good morning. Take Jenna back at the Senior Center, friends. How are y'all today? Service before preaching the gospel has the Christian from Texas coming to appreciate the melting pot. I'm also a Buddhist. That is Seattle. So, and it's acceptable, you know, to be both. So. For me, um, it's not so much about religion, it's more like my relationship with God. And I don't think that that's one thing that changes versus if I'm in the South or if I'm in, in the Northwest. That our faith grows most Which for Will Mayfield, when we share our lives with other people. That, that is the essence of starting a church in Seattle. So we feel in many ways that we're actually reintroducing them to who Jesus Christ really was and what his true intentions for the church are. And that is to serve. And by serving that person, you're serving God. Josh Green. Would you bow your heads and close your King eyes? King Five News. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much again.